The paradox of Euclid's proof of the irrationality of root 2, or how to easily calculate root 2 to any required degree of accuracy as the quotient of two integers. Euclid proved that root 2 was irrational by showing that it was not possible to represent it as a fraction of two whole numbers. For the proof, see Fermat's Last Theorem by Simon Singh, Appendix 2. Yet, I presume, unbeknown to Euclid, root 2 can be obtained to any degree of accuracy as the quotient of two integers, of which there are infinitely many, and which require absolutely no knowledge of the value of root 2. The degree of accuracy is dependent only on the number of digits in the numerator, so that a 30 digit numerator will give 30 digit accuracy to say plus zero minus two digits. The rational fraction is obtained from the algorithm used to determine the combined series number CSN for a particular Pythagorean triple series that results from combining the infinite number of odd and even Pythag Pythagorean triple series together in order of ascending numerical magnitude so that the number of even series M in the CNS up to any value X divided by the number of odd series N in the CSN up to the same value of X will give root 2 to any degree degree of accuracy. The following calculation determines the number of even and odd series that would be present for a particular combined series number which is given by CSN is equal to integer m plus integer n. We start with any integer value of m. Example, using Bateman's theorem, m is equal to a very large even integer. We then square it, multiply it by 2 and take its square root. We then take its integer value to get rid of any decimal places and from the value we now have we then subtract 1. We then divide what we have by 2 to give us n. We then take the ratio of m over n and we see that it approximates root 2 to a very large number of decimal places. Taking root 2, we divide the ratio of m by n by root 2 to give us 1 with a very large number of zeros and a small residual at the end. The CSN is equal to number A plus number B giving the grand total at the foot of the slide. For anyone who is not aware of the odd and even Pythagorean series, the start of them is given in the following table, which shows that they are just two sides of the same coin being embedded at right angles to each other, so that generation of one series automatically results in the other series. The table is from my video, Easiest Chips Pythagorean Triples. So all Euclid would have, have to have done was to generate the first 851, 445, blah, 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 Pythagorean triples series, count the number of even and odd series, and divide the large number by the smaller. And he would have found root 2 to, in my case, 30 digit accuracy. He would still be with us today, busily beaving away. The algorithm is an arithmetical proof of the irrationality of root 2, since it can always be generated as the quotient of two ever-increasing, infinitely large integers. The calculation was by courtesy of Bill Gates and the Windows Calculator, which in scientific mode works to 32 digits accuracy. How it was carried out is shown below. So until the next time, au revoir 
and thank you for watching.